Guys, us here back with another video today. I quite honestly don't feel like doing this because like this is the third time I've tried doing this. Um, hold on. Shit, I forgot where I was. Ha <laughs> Hmm, where was I? Where the hell was I? Ah, I guess we're gonna start all over again. You already know the um start of it. So yeah, I made there's three ships now instead of Hatsume, there is now Suyu Asui, which will look like this. Um she is also a uh, um what was that shit called again? A light bearer. Yeah. She's also a light bearer. Suyu's a light bearer, and then there is of course Fantamina the the riddle. Yes, I made Fantamina a girl. Why? Because I feel like Fantamina will only find Izuku attractive. She like okay, she is like the dominant type, the the one that likes to be dominated. So yeah. Quite honestly, I will never like a girl that likes that wants to be dominated. Cause they the kinky ones. I don't like that. <laughs> Cause like, like alright, I don't have a problem with doing it all night, but like I don't like hurting people. Like personally I don't like hurting people. But personally speaking, I'm a switch, so I don't really have a, I don't really have like the right in the matter to say like whether I have the right to like a um dominant type or anything. Cause like I don't, cause like I'm the type that would like, like I wouldn't say I get like aroused by getting dominated, but like I'm cool with getting dominated. Cause like I'm a switch. Like the only time I'd be a bottom is when I'm getting dominated. But like most of the time, I'd probably look to like dominate somebody more than like getting dominated. But I'm cool with getting dominated. But like the only type of person I'd rather get dominated by is probably a tomboy. All right, I'm be dead ass here. So yeah, I'd rather be dominated by a tomboy because like they got they they got they um they 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 can think for themselves and stuff like that. So I'd rather get dominated by a tomboy. But like. I, I don't want to hear in the comments like, oh, you don't like regular girls? I do like regular girls. I don't have a problem with them. Uh, it's just that like, eh. See, it's, it's, it's not that I don't like you. It's not that you're ugly or anything. It's the clothes you wear. Tomboys don't show skin, all right? They don't show skin. Like, quite honestly, even if you show like just a piece of skin, like as long as it's not like, as long as it's like, um, your hands your ankles like i don't have a problem with it like but like if you're showing skin like your belly or anything like that or even your arms like i or even your waist like i feel like uncomfortable not like around you but i feel like i'm th like uh like a crushing anxiety that like somebody's gonna take you away from me all right but like i don't know if i should be worrying about that or not all right so yeah so if you're a boy in the comments at least tell me your preferences um and well what you classify yourself as i classify myself like personally i'm a switch so yeah hold on so yeah i'm literally telling you everything about me except for my name and stuff so like yeah i could even so yeah i even told you guys my preferences and i know there's gonna be boys in the comments saying oh you're a switch oh my god you a pussy like ah uh -huh, shit well i'm a pussy i'm a pussy i wouldn't say i eat it but like shit i'm a pussy then so that's where I left off. They were talking to Mama Inko. Inko said there's no space. So, if Izuku looked at Fantamina and, she's, and Fantamina said, uh, what? As Izuku says, you you want to help with that? As Fantamina says, oh, yeah, 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 sure. So, Fantamina is the god of the outside that, um, I think, um, Bomb's mom was talking about. So, yeah, I'm just putting that theory into play. So, yeah. So, Fantamina... Fantamina, she starts manipulating the space inside of the um, house. Now, with Shinsu, with her godly power, with her godly abilities. Alright, because I think Fantamina in, like, the manga was a boy. I think it was a boy. Uh, it's most likely a boy. So, yeah. So, Fantamina not wearing those rags she be wearing and that are shown in pictures. So, yeah. So, Izuku and Fantamina. Fantamina expands the space. Izuku makes Shinsu manipulate, like, um... Hmm. The creation abilities. He's using Shinsu to well um create atoms. Atoms specifically for rocks, alright? Atoms specifically for rocks. Why? Because well rocks. So he can like shape the room. The room. So yeah, he shapes the rooms, he shapes the doors and stuff like that. The doors are not made out of rock, they're made out of met they're made out of um wood regular doors all right so for the bed he uses shinsu to copy um i and his bed and modify them 
for so basically like each room has like a king size bed except for um yuri and jihad's room yuri and jihad they have um a king size like a extra large king size bed all right and so will deku deku's gonna be sharing his room with um fantamina because fantamina confessed to him on the way out of the tower and Izuku relayed her feelings and said, alright then. But he doesn't know if he'll love anyone else. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> they started living together with Mama Inko. And Inko said, how did you do that? As Izuku says, I'm, that's my way. That's my um, Shinsu ability. As, Shin, as Inko says, oh, what's your um, position? As Izuku says, wave controller. As Inko says, isn't that one of the weakest places? As Jod says, says who? As Every, as she says, well, it said on the news that Wave Controller was the weakest, as all of a sudden, Jihad, Bomb, Enryu, and Izuku, they put their heads down in shame. As Inko said, did, did I say something wrong? As, um, Yerik says, it's not, well, it is that you said something wrong, but they took it in the wrong context. You said Wave Controller is the weakest. As a matter of fact, Izuku here happens to be the strongest wave controller in the whole tower. Then comes Bomb, and then Enryu. And then comes Jihad. As we said, wait, what? You guys are... Yeah, we're wave controllers too. As she says, I'm, I'm sorry, as... As Yurik says, no, no, it's not... It, that's not it. It's just that people look down on wave controllers, thinking that it's the weakest spot. When in reality, it's actually one of the rear... Um one of the rarest positions to have wave controllers are actually um the strongest be beings inside the tower since the tower itself has shinsu and if you are a wave controller you can directly manipulate that shinsu as she says wait really so that means you guys can yeah we can manipulate the shinsu in out here and inside the tower as Yurik says, ah, not only that, but Azuku's also number one in the tower, but he doesn't want to, well, drag attention to it by exposing himself. So he lets Fantamina keep it, as she says, oh, alright then. So, we skip to a week later, they've been living together, and Inko gets a knock at the door. As they have a big-ass dinner table, they be eating together, so... They hear a knock at the door, and Izuku's about to get up as Inko, she was, um, near the door, about to, well, take out the, about to, um, take out the trash, but Izuku says, I'll take out the trash, mom, you can answer the door. As she opens the door to see Nezu and the UA teachers, including Flat King, somebody I rarely introduce into my what ifs. It's because, well, we don't, I don't usually use class 1B inside my what ifs as well, but this is an exception because I feel like, what's the point of making class 1A rival each other when we can have other classes as well? Since we don't know much about class 1C, I guess we're going to add them in. So yeah, so the provisional licensing exam, yeah, we're going to have that too. So I don't show, put that inside. So there's a lot of things in the anime that I don't put in, and that's what I'm going to do. So everything about like um hmm i don't know how the storyline's gonna go because like because this for this storyline it's gonna be like exactly like um like um all right i'm not i'm not saying like the storyline but like the minutes like how long the video is it's probably gonna be an hour just like what if deku had nen but i'm actually gonna continue that one because what if deku had nen was a different case all right what if deku had nen is kind of different all right so yeah because deku he became overpowered a little too much well deku is overpowered even more than that but still so that doesn't matter for now but you'll understand soon so Deku, he also created a training facility for them to, well, control Shinsu. And the room, it continuously generates Shinsu. So, like, the room is kind of like the tower, with which has infinite Shinsu. Why? Because that's fin Fantamina made that possible. Fantamina made it so that the Shinsu that's, about, that's able to be used is infinite. So, she broke the limits of, like, Shinsu being absorbed into this room. Why? Because, well... A, lim a limit in Shinsu would be a limit to all of them, and that would kind of, well, relegate everything. And Izuku can manipulate the Shinsu and make the space bigger for his training, as you guys already know what his training is like. So, yeah. 
<clears throat> so she sees all the UA teachers and she says, uh, um, how may I help you? As Nezu says, ah, hello there, Miss Midoriya. As she looks down and sees Nezu, as Nezu says, we would like to speak about, um, the school. So in the last part, let's make it so that Class 1A did not see Deku and friends, all right? Class 1A did not see Deku and friends at UA, all right? So yeah, they did not see Deku. Deku and Fantamina and stuff like that, they did not get teleported into the classroom, they directly left. They refused to go on the outside when the time was when the time they felt like it. So yeah, they refused to leave, so they are left on their own. They found the entrance themselves. And you may be wondering, how did they do that? Because Deku beat the living shit out of the poor Biden head. Well, yeah, he's, he's the head since, well, his daughter is still, um locked away but Deku will well free the seal is it still all right good so Deku was taking out the trash as Nazu and friends open the door at and they see this table hold on this table and these people sitting on it Yuri but imagine her with um a happy expression Fantamina Jihad, but without the whole menacing aura and face thing, with just a common collective face, without the whole armor and stuff like that. Yurik and stuff like that, but without the whole star in his hand. And, um, Enryu. And you just see Izuku walking back in. Take in mind, Izuku, he looks like Yurik, so he kind of gets like the whole taking off the shirt thing from Yurik when fighting but he has like the whole taking off the shirt thing and walking around like it's perfectly fine because he's as confident in his body just like how all the other boys in tower of god are except for well bomb and coon because them niggas they're more into like wearing the drip type of shit like i'm not gonna lie my son bomb got the drip so does coon surprisingly young jihad had the drip like shit they could have fit perfectly like the three niggas could have fit perfectly i'm not gonna lie but anyways, so, so Izuku walks in and says, who was it? And as he see, he looks and he sees them and he says, oh, it's them. As Inko says, what do I do? As Izuku says, it's fine, you can let them in. As they walk in, as, as who's this? As Izuku says, oh, wow, such a slow little animal you are, forgetting your own student. As... Nezu says, what? His own student? Wait, are you talking about Izuku Midoriya? Are you Izuku? As All Might says, there's no way. Izuku Midoriya is probably dead. He's just a useless wave controller. As Izuku says, oh. you know, I'm kind of ashamed in your way of learning. As All Might says, what do you mean? As Izuku says, you know, the reason why people don't mention wave controllers that much is not because they're weak. Those ooze you heard, oh, they weren't ooze of, like, sadness or anything. They were ooze of surprise, because wave controllers are, um, a rare position. And quite honestly, last I checked, you in class 1A, what floor did you guys make it to? 10,000, right? I think it was 10,000. It was 10,000, right? Fantamina, what floor did they make it to? As Fantamina says... Last I checked, it was 5,000. As Izuku says, ah, I overestimated you guys. As, as Yurik says, ah, come on, man. At least go easy on them with your insults. As Izuku says, no, they deserved it. I mean, like, look what they did to me. And Yurik said, hey, what they did to you was the reason why you became the way you are. As Izuku says, all right, I should be thanking them, but still, they could have at least gave me a heads up. As Yurik says, fair point. As Enryu, he just sitting there sipping the tea. Enryu just sipping tea. Like, this man, Enryu got that surprised eye. He got the wide eyes, and he just sipping the tea. Like, <sighs> shit. <laughs> Jihad is just watching, like, shit. Um, like, Jihad is kind of tired. Bomb, he, he sleep, like, shit. Like, I don't know what future Bomb would look like, but I'll try to find a picture. Hold on. That's what I could find. Um, so, yeah. This is what Bomb looks like in the future. But, like, without the whole cape and stuff like that, he's at the table. He has the bandages on. Why? Because I just like that. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of fire. So, yeah, he looks like this. And, and, Bomb is asleep. Like, he's tired as hell. Like, because him and Yuri had to do it. Like, him and Yuri did it. So, yeah, him and Yuri did it.
So like <laughs> Jahad, um, he be going, he gonna be going to the club. Like Jahad, Azuku, and um, here they gonna be going to the club. Why? Because their blood is too strong. Well, to be exact. Zuku, his blood is not that strong, it's just that his body is made of Shinsu. Unless he wants to have, like, impregnate a woman, like, he'll have to make his body fully human again. And that, that would be fast. It, it would be an easy fix, but Zuku, he'd rather be, like, um, Shinsu. So, you may be wondering, what's so special about his body being Shinsu? Alright, then, let me tell you something. Uh, let, let me, um, let me, let me, like, butter it a little bit. Alright. Not only are his regenerative abilities better since he's Shinsu and there's Shinsu all around the world, his body can regenerate faster than faster than anything in the world, even the tower itself. So if the tower is destroyed Izu and Izuku was killed, Izuku would heal faster than the tower. So I hope you're getting this right. All right, so yeah. And one special thing is, he can control the Shinsu in his body even if he's dead. So if he were to be exploded by one of Bago Shinsu explosions. He could make the droplets of the Shinsu hit the like hit the floor and revive himself making multiple clones and he can form himself back again. So instead of it taking like 10 years for him to review, since he was spent like um many years in the Shinsu, he learned how to well control his body Shinsu to make it so that he can heal almost instantly after being destroyed. So he yeah. So, Bomb basically looks like this, and he just doesn't have that whole serious face. He's just tired, alright? He's sleeping at the table. As as Yuri taps his, taps him, says, Bomb? As Bomb says, huh? What happened? As Yuri says, are you that? You can go back to sleep if you're tired. Zuku says, nah. As Bomb says, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. As Bomb wakes up and sees, um, no... The teachers and he said huh who are they as Azuka says ah these are my old teachers as he says so hold on as bomb he says so these are the guys that betrayed you as Azuka says well more or less on um, well if you're counting that one yeah as he points to all might as all might says is that how you speak to your upper higher ups and as Azuka says higher ups where as he says in the tower because I knew he didn't get that far. As Azuku he looks away and leaves. As All Might says, that's what I thought. As then Bomb says, yeah, um, I think you're getting mixed messages here. Um, the reason he didn't walk away was because he thought he was inferior. Um, it's just that he didn't want to make you feel inferior. As everybody except for Bomb, since he was the one saying it, nods in, in agreement. As as All Might says, what do you mean? As Bomb says, see, that's for you to know. That's for us to know and you to find out. As All Might says, Tch. as while Izuku is walking away, Midnight notices the tattoos on Izuku's back. As Midnight says, Izuku, when did you get tattoos? As Izuku says, oh, these? Oh, shit, let me tell you. As, as Mazino gets up as Yuri gets up, Bomb gets up, and Jahad gets up. As they turn around, Jahad takes off his shirt. As Mazino, he was already shirtless. Bomb, he pulls his hair up, and basically they see this tattoo on Mazino's um back or Yurik's. As they're like, "What the hell? You guys have matching tattoos?" As he says, "No, you crazy? Matching tattoos? What the hell is that?" As Jahad shows him them this on the back which is basically the top basically like the upper it's the top of the upper half of the back basically it's basically like the middle like the middle one it's on the neck bone basically the neck bone right all right the neck bone so yeah and bomb shows them this as they're like are you, do you guys have matching tattoos as he says no these are not matching tattoos these are actually tattoos that can evolve as we get stronger as as they see at izuku's and izuku's is way more advanced than theirs as they're like what the hell you have full body, upper body tattoos? As he says, oh my god, I'm not even gonna explain it. As Enryu gets up and says, mm, Mrs. Midoriya, is there any more tea? As, as, Inko says, ah, yes, sweetie, it's in the kitchen. As, as Enryu says, ah, thank you. 
as All Might asks, and who are you? As Enryu, he just looks at All Might and walks away. As All Might goes to grab Enryu, as all of a sudden, Bomb is in front of him holding his hand and says, touch him and I promise you it won't end well for you. As Enryu says, mm, thank you, Bomb. As Bomb says, no problem, Enryu, you can go. So, yeah. So, like, Enryu, he's kind of like the bean of the group. Apart from, like, Pentamina, Enryu is the second bean of the group. So, like, if anybody were to hurt Enryu, Bomb, Izuku, like, everybody in the Deku Squad. Yeah, they're the Deku Squad. They're the new Deku Squad. Would go off. They would go on a murderous rampage. Even Yurik. So, yeah, if anybody were to hurt Enryu, let's just say it wouldn't end well for them. So, yeah, that's how it is with them. So, All Might, he says... <laughs> Go as he pulls his hand. As Bomb says, "Damn, didn't even use one percent." He already said, "Let go." As as Izuku says, "Eh, at least you went easy on him." As Bomb says, "Yeah, yeah, you're right. At least I did go easy on him. If it was Yurik or anyone else, he probably would have lost that arm of his." As as they were like, "Mm-hmm." So Nezu says, "Well, can can we get back to topic here? We're talking about like the entrance exam." As he says, as Izuka says, yeah, continue. What's the entrance exam? As they said, we'll be doing the entrance exam in the tower. As Izuka says, floor what? As they said, floor 100. As Izuka looks back at his friend, and his friends, they just nudge and said, I don't know. As, as Nezu says, why are you guys nudging? As they said, oh, no, you don't have to worry about that. As Jahad says, you know, as Jahad, he speaks up and finally speaks up and says, Hold on, sorry. So, Jihad said, Why the 100th floor? It's kind of weak, if I say so myself. As All Might says, What do you even know about being strong, little boy? As Jihad said, Old man, I'm older, far older than you think I am. As all of them not in agreement, except for Izuku, because Izuku knowing he's older than everybody in this whole world. As Bomb says, why didn't you agree as well? You know, damn well you're older than him. As Zuka says, yeah, I know. That's the point. As Bomb, he chuckles and says, You really are unbelievable. As, as All Might says, how old are you anyways? As Jihad says, you don't want to know. As Nezu says, come on, it can't be that old. As Zuka says, see... You guys, except for the mouse, because I didn't see any trace of you inside the tower, are 100 trillion years old, while me and everyone else here are quadrillions of years old, and the Zuku happens to be infinites of years old. So, are you sure you want to talk about age gap? As All Might says, what? How, how am I 100 trillion years old? As Zuku says, ah, that's because of me. And that's because of the logic of the tower. As Bomb says, yeah. See, two months since out here is 100 trillion years in the tower. And Zuku, he has a special space that, well, infinites of years pass by every time he, well, every second passes by. As they're like, what? How? As Zuku says, don't worry about it. Just move on with your lives. So, yeah. So, Zuku says, yeah, about that 100th floor thing, um, hmm, as he turns, as Zuku turns around to the group and says, hmm, what floor should we do, as, as Enryu, he just came back and sat down and sips tea and says, how about the 10th trillionth floor? The 500 trillion floor, as Azuko says, hmm, probably, I mean, we all reached higher than that, so it's only halfway the amount we reached, right? As they said, yes, as Azuko says, alright then, it's settled. As he looks back at Nezu and says, we'll be doing the test on the five trillion, 500 trillion floor, as Nezu says, but that's too high, we don't, as Azuko says, yeah, we know, you guys never made it there, as... He says, as All Might says, that doesn't explain anything. Are you saying that you made it there? As Azuka says, hold on. As Azuka says, yeah, we made it higher than that. 
So, yeah. Naz. Nazu says, can you go a little lower? Naz, Azuku says, no. That's the minimum we're going. Because the monsters there can actually withstand at least more than two hits from us. As Yuri says, yeah, that's actually surprising. As, as, as Izuku, he, he scratches the back of his head and says, that's true. I expected them to get killed in one attack. As Yuri says, surprisingly, they don't. But I think that's because um, you were holding back. As Pentamina says, hmm. Quite honestly speaking, I'd rather do the Quatrillion for it. As Izuku says, hmm. You know, I'd be cool with doing that. I'd be cool with doing that. As he says, how long will the entrance exam be? As, as Nazu says, it'll be one day. One day, the entrance exam, like the whole fighting part will be one day. As, as she, he says, yes. As Azuka says, ho oh, ho. Oh. Wow. That's crazy. One billion years inside. As Pentamina says, yay, you'll get even more ages older than us. As Azuka says, ah, calm down, I'll let you guys inside. As they said, yay. As Azuka says, alright then. As Nezu says, wait, what do you mean one billion years? As he says, ah, time moves differently inside the tower than the outside world. So one day out here, it is a, tr a billion years inside. As Nezu says, oh dear god. And Zuka says, yeah, I know, right? Such a long time. But anyways, you guys should be getting out of my house now. As All Might says, that's not how you speak to your higher-ups. As Zuku says, you know, All Might, if I wanted to, you could be dead within seconds. You may be thinking, oh, I'm in your house, so I'm gonna be disrespectful. I'm gonna be respectful. Buddy, this house is not just my domain. The whole world is. So I suggest you stop what you're doing and cease your babbling on. As All Might says, what do you mean this whole world is your territory? As as all of a sudden, Yurik says, Yurik cuts in and says, okay, okay, you two, stop it now. As Azuku says, yeah, yeah. As Yurik says, he's right, you should be getting out of his house. You intruded on our peacefulness and, well, yeah. As Nezu agrees and they leave. As they're think as Izuku, he's thinking with everybody else, and he's like, "Hmm, well, we got that settled. How are we gonna prepare?" As Enryu says, "I'll just be training." As everybody looks and said, "Enry," as Enryu said, "What?" As as Izuku says, "You did not talk the whole time. Were you too shy to? Were you cautious?" As Enryu says. Oh, I was just enjoying the tea, as they said. Wow. So, the silence was because of the tea? But why, why you had to be silent when there was an important talk? As he said, eh, I just felt like it. Zuko says, alright then. As they are thinking about training Enryu's doing meditation, as Yurik says, I'll be training on my stars, basically. As... Zuku says, all right then, as Jihad says, hmm, I need to do, I need to start using metallic shinsu, I need to, well, master metallic shinsu, as Zuku says, oh, all right then, as he says, as, then, then, um, damn, damn, as Pentamina says, huh, Pentamina says, uh, I don't know what to do, as Izuku says, quite honestly speaking, you needing to do something is not really seen as you needing to, there is no such thing as you needing to do anything. You're already dangerous as it is, so I already see you going past the 100, the 500 quadrillion floor with E, so you don't really need to do anything, it's just a 500 trillion floor, so it's kind of... We compared to your power and our, and everybody else is here. As they're like, as she's right, you're right. As everybody of them will limit their powers to the 500th floor level, but they'll still be using their big attacks. As as Yuri says, mm, I'll be training on hand to hand combat. As Zuko says, Oh my God, am I hearing that right? 
you're not training on lifting weights as Yuri says did you really just say that as Zuko says I'm joking I'm joking as Bomb says I mean that meditation would be nice so I think I'll be joining Enryu as Enryu says all right then let's go Bomb as Enryu leaves with Bomb and they go to the training field as they go to well meditate does this shit still work surprisingly it doesn't hmm mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go to the entrance exam, which is a week. They skip a week as everybody just see two people that look like this. One, which is Maizuno, and the other is Izuku with all the tattoos, but instead of the white hair, he has black hair, and he's not wearing the hat. Instead, he's wearing the, um, he's wearing, he's wearing, um, hmm, well, he's wearing shorts like Maizuno does. So yeah, so then we have Yuri walking in like how Yuri does basically, and Pantera kind of walking in like this, but in but like she's wearing a sweater this time. Quite honestly, I have a specific way of wearing my sweater. It's either I usually put it on, but that's when I'm going to sleep. But like most of the time, it's like halfway on. So yeah, yeah, I know that that usually fits for girls, but it's actually quite comfortable. It limits your arms. It limits the movement of your arms so you don't have to do a lot of work when doing most things. Quite honestly. I find it rather comfortable. Because that shit won't make you feel embarrassed when you're falling asleep without, uh, in, in class and some shit like that. Like, imagine falling asleep in class without like a desk in front of you. That should be embarrassing because like your hang hand is just hanging. So yeah. Hold on. So yeah. So Azuku. He's walking in, and Bomb, Yuri walks in looking like this. Bomb, he walks in with this gear on. And everybody sees the arm, and they're thinking, oh my god, they have to be really rich people, and stuff like that. And shit like that. So, Mei and Su saw Izuku, and they thought he's cute. And Jahad, he came in wearing the armor, and shit like that. So, yeah. Enryu came in wearing what Enryu wears. So, yeah. Quite honestly... I might have to change Enryu's look. So I also change, I also got a better picture of Mazino. So him and Bomb are looking like this, but Bomb with the black hair and the tattoos, you already know what they look like. Then there's Enryu, he looking like this. So yeah. So everybody looking at them, they're like, oh my god, they must be rich and stuff like that. But like, yeah, they are rich, but like still, they don't flex their money. Except for Enryu, he look like he want to flex his money, but he not. So yeah. So... Izuku, he's basically minding his own business and walking with everyone and talking to them and stuff like that. As Ida walks up to Izuku and and um and Yurik and says, "This is not appropriate for the outside world. Go put on a shirt." As Yurik grabs Ida's head and starts squeezing it and says, "If you ever, and I mean ever, come up to us again, I swear to God, your head will be crushed." As as Ida says, you can't kill me. I'm a part of the prestigious Tenya Ida family. If you kill me, you'll go to jail. And you'll be sued as... They look at Enryu and Enryu says, I don't know what you're talking about. As, as they said, well, we could kill him. As Ida's like, what? As Enryu says, I have the ability to bring people back to life and give life to things. So you dying wouldn't really be that much of a problem. And plus, there's also somebody here that could bring you back to life. So your death wouldn't really mean anything. Izuka says, yeah, he's right. So, the reason why they looked at Enryu, even though Izuku could bring him back to life, is because if Izuku doesn't want to, he won't do it. So they have to rely on Enryu or Fantamina, but we know damn well is not doing it for him because it's not doing it because Izuku won't do it. So yeah, as they do the written test, the written test is easy as... As... Nazu explains that in the outside world, it will be one day, but to them, it will be a billion years. As they're asking, where did you get that information? And Izuku says, it was from me. He got that information from me. As Bakugo says, huh? Who the hell are you? Are you from the tower? As Izuku says, don't worry about that. Katsuki Bakugo. As Bakugo says, ah, I see I'm famous. I see I'm famous. As Izuku says, oh my god. His ego got even bigger. 
as Izuku, he looks at Jihad and, um, and says, so, what position are we using? As Jihad says, quite honestly, I'm sticking to fishermen, ew. As Izuku says, hmm, I can't use spear bear. That one's a little too dangerous. As Jihad says, yeah, that's right. Being a spear bearer is kind of dangerous. And she says, how about you be wave controller? As Izuku says, that's fine by me. It's Bakugo says, ha, ah, you're a wave controller? You're so weak, damn. I didn't know there was going to be a pathetic wave controller here. So, everybody goes to the 100th floor. Except for Izuku and friends, as Bakugo is looking for Izuku and friends, but they can't find them. That's because Izuku and friends are on the quadrillion floor. Yes. So what they did was they went to Nezu a day before the entrance exam and said we'll set up cameras in the areas that are that are at at um one hundred quadrillionth floor and lower. As Nezu agrees to this and lets them do it. As they go all the way up to the quadrillionth floor, as they're bodying things, as Jihad uses the needle that he has, as Izuku what he's using is Dark Cosmos. He is using Dark Cosmos, and quite honestly, he likes using Dark Cosmos. Dark Cosmos are like, is like everything to him. He, like, on that floor, he can go all out with Dark Cosmos. Because Dark Cosmos is not one of his strongest moves, but it's a strong-ass move. So, he's sending Dark Cosmos left, right, and stuff like that. What he doesn't use is the Golden, the golden Needle. Yes, it's a golden needle. And he can use it, but the difference is his golden needle is different. His golden needle is the galaxy needle. He has a silver needle, gold, diamond. He has basically every type of needle. As Izuku, he yells at Jihad's name, and Jihad says, yeah, what is it? As Izuku says, what type of needle should I use? As Jihad says, honestly speaking, is there water? You should use the water needle. As Izuku says, all right then. As a massive needle, this massive needle appears and it looks blue and he shoots at the monster and the monster melts. So yeah, and him and Jihad have mastered the needle. Basically, they can use every Shinsu type of needle and Bomb learned every Shinsu from Izuku by, well, Izuku attacking him with the rainbow Shinsu. So yeah. So, but Izuku has to personally teach all of them, like, the different Shinsu. And Enryu, he has blood, blood, um, Shinsu, so yeah. So, Enryu, he can, well, form, well, um, Shinsu out of the, he can form, um, spears out of the blood, he can form weapons. But he's using the blood rain thing used on, um, the 34th floor, I think, the floor of death, yeah. So, they do that, and a day later, they walk out, and... They look like they have scratches on them. Just scratches. They just walk out looking like they have scratches while everybody else walks out looking tired. As they just walk out perfectly fine and Bakugo says, Damn extras, where the hell were you? As Deku says, Eh, don't worry about that. As then Izuku, he picks up Enryu, puts Enryu on his shoulders and says, You can sleep now. As Enryu says, Alright, as He's already carrying Phantamina on his back. Like, this right here, he's already carrying Phantamina on his back. As, as Mizuno, as Yurik says, nah, I'll carry him you. You carry your girl. As Zuku says, alright, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda ship Enryu and Yurik. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I ship it, but I won't do it. I ship it, but I promise myself I will not do it. Alright, just trust me on this. I won't do it. Alright, I will not. I will not do it. Okay. And somebody wanted what if Deku was the reincarnation of Bomb. Shit, not gonna lie. I will do that. I will do it. But Deku, he'll have a better understanding of Shinsu. So yeah. Alright then. So. Now, Azuku, he goes to where the teachers are. And he says, so, how is the spectation? As Nezu and the teachers are kind of shocked. And they were like, what is that move that you used with that giant weapon? As Izuku says, ah, that cannot be said. Because if I did, it'd be kind of dangerous. As he said, all right then. As then we skip to hmm, a month later. Why a month? Because they have to calculate every student's progress and see how they went, to see which is better. But Azuku, bomb, 
Izuku, Bomb, and friends already know that they passed with flying colors. So they're not really worried about anything. And plus, Jihad already said we're destined to, to pass anyways. And yeah, so right when they got home, Izuku and Yurik put Enryu and, um, and, uh, and, and Phantom went to sleep, alright? I'm not shipping Enryu, but him, but Enryu and Yurik will be very close friends. Very close friends, alright? They'll be very close friends. Alright, they'll be very close friends. They're not, they're not ships, but they're very close friends. Cause I'm not gonna like, lie. I could see it happening. I ship it. As Jihad, we need to find a ship for him. Cause our Jihad princesses are not gonna work out. So who, Mama Ink up Juggernaut? <laughs> like imagine your best friend being your father-in-law, your stepfather. Bomb would be looking at Jihad and he's like, "You take a step near my mom, and I'm gonna kill you." As Jihad's like, okay, um, so, uh, yeah, no one for me. As Jihad, he's gonna be going to the club. Yeah, he's gonna be going to the club. Jihad's gonna be going to the club with Yurik and friends. They, go, they be going to the club sometimes. And the girls join as well. So, yeah. The girls don't have a problem with going to the club. And they cool with it. As long as, like, they mans don't, like, cheat and have a kid. Like, cheat and have a kid. Like, they don't have a problem with them doing it with other women as long as they don't have a kid. So, yeah. So, is it cause like, cause like, the girls understand, oh, they're powerful beings, they have to have at least one or two wives, or at least a few women that they do it, so, yeah, so, Azuku, he's, he's doing his part, so, we skip to a month later, and it's the first day of school, and Izuku, he woke in the same way he walked in, bomb, walks, bomb walks in, with just, without the whole cloak and stuff like that, and he still has the bandages. My son bomb got the bandages. Cause it seemed like my bomb my man's bomb likes to wear them high top boots. Like shit. Like look at them high top boots. Like shit. Look at fire. I, I want a pair of mine. I want a pair too. So Enryu looks like this. Yurik look like this. So does Izuku. And well, she looked like this. She looked like this. As they walk into class and Hatsume and um you know so see Izuku right away and they blush as Izuku he notices this but he doesn't care about it so yeah we skip to 10 minutes later when everybody in the class start walking in and you may be wondering why is and Sue and friends were with him but like they weren't so yeah Sue and friends were with them outside and Bakugo says huh who are these extras as he says, as Bakugo says, how the hell did you get into class 1A, you weaklings? Especially you, wave controller. As Jihad, Izuku, and friends ignore him. As Izuku, he's actually knocked on his desk. Izuku, Bomb, Jihad, they're knocked on their desk. While the girls, they're just minding, the girls are minding their own business. As the girls and Enri are talking. Hmm. <sighs> I'm giving myself even more temptations. I must not fall to the devil's hand. The temptations are real. Like I'm getting, I'm giving myself even more of a reason to make Enryu and Yurik a ship. So Yurik and, so Yurik, Bomb, um, Jihad, and Izuku, they're knocked on the desk while the girls and, um, and Enryu are talking. So, yeah. So, all of a sudden, Bagago says they won't wake up, and Bagago thinks, huh, maybe if we touch those, maybe if we hit those girls, they'll come after, they'll get up. As they try to touch the girls, like, I, I'm gonna say this now, they try, keyword try, but they can't even get near them. Why? Because Deku ain't having that. Deku ain't having that with them. Like, they could try as much as they want, but they are not getting near Enryu. Yuri or Fantamina. Because this nigga Deku put a barrier around them before they went to sleep. And to everyone, it's like the boys, like the boys, not the bottoms, I swear, are floating. So, like the boys that are sleeping are floating, but they're not. It, they're actually, it's, they actually made um, Shinsu pillows. As Yurik, like Yurik, he like them soft pillows. So does Izuku and Jihad. So they're sleeping. And yeah. So <clears throat> Bomb, he like that extra soft pillow. Why? Cause this man's bombs. <laughs> he a man that like the t -t 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 -t. <laughs> So yeah. So 
And if it sounds like stuttering, somebody said, like, I sound like I'm stuttering. I'm actually doing these on purpose. Like, when I when I say the things that sound like stuttering, I do them on purpose. I don't stutter. I'm not one to stutter in real life. I don't stutter at all. So, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't stutter at all. It's not to mock, like, people that stutter. It's just that, like, well, it's embarrassing to say because I don't know what you guys think about me when I say these parts. So, I'm kind of, like, um self-conscious about these things. I'm self-conscious about it. And I'm kind of, like... Like, I'm, like, I get a crushing anxiety that you guys are thinking, like, I'm a bad person because of the way I, the things I said. Even though there are many what-ifs that have, like, 18-plus scenes. But, like, me, I don't have, like, the confidence to say it. So, yeah. So, now the bell rings when I was inside as Zuko and friends. They finally wake up as Zuko wakes up and says, mm, Damn, what happened? If you heard that crack, that's actually my neck. Yes. My neck sounds like that. Those cracks are my neck. Those cracks happen in my neck. As, as Izuku, he remembers now. As he gets up and goes to Bagua and says, You, you touched my barrier. As, as Bagua says, barrier, what barrier? As Izuku says, as Fantamina says, Babe, don't go too hard on him. As Izuku says, nah, 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 because he touched the barrier. As... And Ryu says, wait, there was a barrier around us? As Izuku says, yes. As, as Enryu says, is that where the tea was coming from? As Izuku says, yeah, that's where the tea was coming from. As Enryu says, well, thank you. As Izuku says, it's fine. So, Izuku, he grabs Bakugo by the hair and sends him flying into the air. To the point where if Bakugo lands, he can land perfectly fine. So, he just walks back to his seat and sits down. As that happens, and Bakugo goes and uh, goes to Izuku and <laughs> explodes Izuku's dust. But Izuku, he's unfazed by this, like at all. He's unfazed by this. So then, he tries to go after Izuku's friends. More precise, he tries to go after Enryu. And Yurik wasn't having it. He grabbed Bakugo head, slammed it into the wall, and said, "If you ever try that again, I promise you, it won't be ending how you want it to." As Bakugo, he's kind of. A, He's kind of knocked out for a minute or two. As they have to wait until Bakugo wakes up so they can get ready for the lesson. As Azawa says, you guys will be going outside for training. As Heiko says, alrighty then. As they all get up and go outside. Everybody's in their hero costumes. Except for Izuku and friends. Because, well, we already know what their hero costume is. Izuku, his hero costume is this. Jihad, he's basically wearing the armor as his hero costume, so he's not wearing the armor. Like, if and if there's any time like Jihad goes anywhere, he's not wearing the costume unless like he's going to fight somebody. So, hope you understand that. As as Pentamina doesn't need armor, and neither does Yurik or or Yuri. Bomb, he's wearing that. He's it's not really armor; it's just a robe. And Enryu doesn't need it either. So yeah, so. Izuku walks out like Yurik, but with the black hair and stuff like that, so yeah. Anytime I, you know, I'm talking about Izuku and there's a picture of Yurik, that's basically how he is. Like, he like he has every aspect of Yurik except for, like, wearing the hat. <sighs> I definitely wasn't looking at anything else. <laughs> I definitely wasn't. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, if there's any boys, I caught you on 4K and you sus. I, <sighs> so yeah. So, oh my god, he died. So yeah, after the realist temptations have been over, so they go outside, and they're basically wearing their stuff. As Ida says, where's your hero costume, and so does everybody else. As Izuku says, we don't need hero costumes. So, yeah. So, Izuku, he says, alright, Aizawa, what are we doing? Aizawa says, well, we'll be training on Shinsu control. As... As everybody in the Deku squad look at Izuku and they're like, um, uh, so, um, I didn't hear him right. What did he say? As, Izuku says, I think he said Shinsu control, or some shit like that. As, they said, yeah, we heard him, but like, why are you so unfazed? I mean, like, we understand why, but still, I'm not gonna tell him, as Izuku says, nah. I want them to find out on their own, as... As Aizawa says, find out what on our own. As Zuko says, ah, don't worry about that. Like I said, you guys have to find it out on your own. So do that. You guys will be hearing sounds in the background. That's the radio of my grandparents. They're listening about um news from Haiti. 
So yeah, I'm from Haiti. I'm Haitian. But I live in America. I've been living in America for, I don't know how long. Um, 11 years of my life. So yeah, no, I think it's six years. Six years, right? Six years, nine years of my life now. Yeah, nine. So yeah. So Izuku, he does that. And he's living the best life that he can inside of the void well his clones are his clones are basically doing the training now over this time let me tell you how um how hizuku's training is basically for every planet and stuff like that they are basically infinites of planets suns and stuff like that the only things that are limited are universes multiverses omniverses and megaverses all right well, I need to know which one is bigger. Hold up. Yeah, um, the Omniverse is the biggest, and it seems that the thing beyond the Omniverse is called the Beyond. So, yeah. Back to what I was doing. You didn't see that at the corner. So, yeah. So, Izuku, the only thing that he's limited in is, um, the Omniverse, the Megaverse, and, um, Beyond. The Omniverse, he has at least... For, like, the Megaverse, he has at least a million. For Omniverse, he has a few thousands. And for the Beyond, he only has one. Alright. So, let's find out what's beyond the Beyond. <laughs> so, what's beyond Beyond is infinity. Then, beyond that is eternity. So, yeah. That's where eternity is, and, um, eternity works with time, so, right when they get past, um, eternity, so, there won't be anything past eternity, so, you guys can see that I'm making Deku super OP, so, yeah, Deku, he's strong now, he's really strong, he has basically at least five, he has, he has ten of the beyonds, basically, he has ten beyonds, it's when he gets a thousand beyonds that he will basically have the um infinity but until then he just has beyonds and the beyonds they don't even have anything inside of them that has life so he still needs to work on that so the omniverse the megaverses the only thing that has life is the megaverses that's the limit the, the megaverses have life the omniverses don't have life and the um beyonds don't have life either so yeah so so, Izuku says, I'm not gonna tell them anything about that. As they said, fine, you do you. As Aizawa says, I guess we'll just leave it at that. As Aizawa says, we'll be training inside of the tower. As Izuku says, oh, that's neat. As Aizawa says, Nezu says that you guys can explore the place. As he looks at the Deku Squad. As the Deku Squad says, you guys want to go higher? As Izuku says, yeah, but how high? As they huddle up and... Well, they don't huddle up with Enryu because Enryu, he, he goes with either or. He doesn't really count. He doesn't really care. He'll go with them no matter what because it helps him get stronger. So Enryu doesn't really have a problem with it. As Enryu, Enryu is just sitting there just actually taking a nap. He's floating in the air taking a nap, and it's Deku, and Deku's just letting him take a nap on his Shinsu. So yeah, since Yurik, he uses Star Shinsu, so it could kind of burn Enryu since his Shinsu works with fire. Yes, so Zuku lets him lay down on it since since um that happened. So so while they're huddling, they said, hmm. How about we go to, I don't know, the Notalian floor? As Zuko says, nah. Mmm, Zillion. As they were like, shit. Uh, nah, Notalian, that's it. No, Octillion. As they look and see Bomb who said Octillion, they were like, alright, then we'll go with the Octillion floor. Take in mind, Octillion is lower than Notalian and Azillion, so yeah. So, they decide that they're going to the octillion floor, or to be exact, the 500 octillion floor. And Izuku knows that there is going to be so much condensed energy that he will be able to start creating life in the Omniverse. So, yeah. So, Izuku, he has a few thousand of those, so he's gonna have to finish those and then, well, continue. And, 
he realized that the beyond has has he realizes that for the um for the omniverse he'll have to do everything with fiction so it'll make it will be even harder for him to do the omniverse since the omniverse is anything beyond fiction it's beyond like reality itself so yeah so izuku he decides all right then i'll finish with the megaverses and start working on one omniverse work on that one on om one omniverse since that's the only amount i could do right now so they go in the tower and everybody bakugo and friends they go to the the 5000th floor as bakugo looks at the deck wooden squad and says feast your eyes weaklings this is the 5000th floor as Izuku says yeah yeah bye as they just keep walking as everybody's like where are they going and bakugo tries to go and Bak and aizawa says bakugo if you go there i promise you you will die as bakugo says T yeah right as Izuku says no no Come on, Aizawa. The whole class can come where we're going. As Aizawa says, oh my god. <sighs> As he says, what floor are you guys going to? As Izuku says, that's a surprise. As Izuku uses his Shinsu and puts a bubble around them. A dark bubble, basically, that makes it so that they're unable to see. As he jumps all the way to the 500 octillionth floor with everybody else. And he opens the bubble and they're like, what the hell? Where are we? As the octillionth floor is kind of like, um paradise for monsters as he says this is the octillionth floor as they're all like the octillionth floor what the hell how did we get up here as as he says well not exactly the octillionth but 500 octillionth as they're like what as everybody is scared this has been this is like a joint uh, collaboration with um class 1b as well so class 1b is with them they're like what the hell is this as mona Meshi's frightened he said i'm too young and too beautiful to die as zuku says yeah everybody's too young and too beautiful to die but look at that you're all gonna die even if you become beautiful even if you become older and beautiful as monoma he stops yammering on about i'm too beautiful to die and stuff like that so yeah this is about to be an hour long so mazano says so we'll be training up here as zuku says yeah as zuku a portal opens up, and Izuku goes inside and says, I'll see you guys in... Hmm. Azawa, how long do we have in here? About a month. A month, you say. How long do we have in here? As Azawa says, well, hmm. I can schedule it for Nezu to let us stay in here for five months. Five months. Oh, wow. Five months. Five months. That's 250,000 trillion years. As Azuka says, alright then. So they stay for five months. And every time it hit a month, they went 500 floors higher. 500 floors higher. But you don't get it. Not just 500 octillion floors higher. You need to understand. Let me, let me, let me break it down for you. As, alright. So the first month Azuka's been training, as Azuka comes out the next the next month and says, Alright then, a month has passed, let's go, as he puts them on the class, and he jumps all the way to the 500 notillionth floor. As, they're like, no, five, to the 500 notillionth floor, and they're like, what the hell, where are we? As he says, the 500 notillionth floor. As they're scared shitless, and they're like, oh no, it's even more scarier, so it's condensed. And in this time, Azuku, he was able to finish one Omniverse. One, basically. And now he has infinites of Megaverses, because he's been working on Megaverses mostly than Omniverses. And then we skip to the second month when they jump to the 500 Decillion floor as class 1a have been getting stronger but like the rapid amount of growth when it comes to shinsu to them is well scaring them since they're getting powerful but they're not on deku's level when it comes to like shinsu control like when it comes to him bomb and um jihad level shinsu control they're not even close so yeah so they have time to eat too izuku doesn't really need to eat so yeah so on the fifth month, we skip all the way to the fifth month. They go to the five hundred zillion floor. Hold on. 
so yeah forget that forget what i said they went to the all right they passed the sextillion septillion octillion yeah now they're on hmm. one two three four five the tresillion all right the tridecillion, all right? The one that starts with T, all right? They're on the 500th floor of that one. So, yeah, that means there's many other numbers in um, our numbers chart. And I like that, actually. I like that. So, yeah. So, they're on that level. And everything on that floor, like, like the energy itself is condensed. And Azuku stays there for two months with everybody so they can get accumulated and get better at it. And... They don't know what he does in that space. So when it's the final day for them to leave, Aizawa asks Izuku. Or... And they found out that it was Izuku over time. And Bago was like, the nerd is still alive, how? And he tried to fight Deku, and he lost severely. And um, over this time, him and Pentamina, they fought. Yeah, him and Pentamina fought, and... The fight didn't last three years, it lasted 100. Azuku was going rather easy on Pentamina because he's stronger on Pentamina now than much stronger as he goes easy on her since, yeah. So, after that, Aizawa said, Azuku, what do you do in that space? As Azuku says, Oh, I train. What do you expect me to do? As by this time, he just finished a batch of a thousand. Omniverses. He just finished a thousand Omniverses, so he's still not yet to, well, the beyond. So yeah, as they said, training? What type of training? As Azuku says, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. As Aizawa says, uh, I'm okay. As, as Pentamina says, can I see the progress? As Azuku says, yeah, sure. As Bakugo says, huh? How come she gets to see it? As Azuku says, because that's my girlfriend. And Uraka says, what? I thought I was your girlfriend. As Deku says, yeah. But it seems that you were just chill, just toying with me and you chose Bakugo over me. Funny thing is, you decided to leave me with the class too. Huh. Well, I have nothing to speak to you with. So hold on real quick. So Fantamina says, come on, babe. Just let them in. As Azuka says, fine. It's not like I finished the product anyways. As they said, product. As they're thinking, oh, he just has a weapon that he's creating that he's putting a lot of effort in but that's not it as they all walk in and they see many planets many stars and stuff like that as Aizawa says what is this as Luka says this is my Shinsu as Aizawa says what as Zuku says oh oh let me rephrase that these these spears are not my Shinsu this whole place is my Shinsu as Aizawa says it's infinite though as Zuku says that's the point. I have infinite Shinsu. As Aizawa says, How? What level of Shinsu control do you have? As Deku says, I have not, I do not have the perfect Shinsu mastery, but I can tell you this it's very close to it. I have omni Shinsu control. As Zawa says, oh, 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 wow. As everybody's looking around, as this one catches their eye, this is what you call the Omniverse. And each one of those balls are Megaverses, and each one of those shining things inside are Multiverses. As Azawa says, Azuku, Azuku, what's this? As Azuku says, ah. That's an omniverse. As he says, what's an omniverse? As Izuku explains what an omniverse is and how it's bigger than megaverses and stuff like that. As they were like, then what's bigger than this? As Izuku says, that's for me to know and you to find out. Well, it seems like your stay's ending is, has ended. So I suggest you leave before the gravity gets back on. As he says, gravity. As he says, yes, now leave. As he pushes them out. As he starts walking out with his friends, and Azawa says, why did you push us? As Izuku says, the gravity went back. You'd die if I let the gravity hit you. 
as you're like, what? He says, there's infinite gravity inside there. As, as I was scared. And then, the day they, and then they come out that day, and... Aizawa, he goes to Shin, to, to Nezu and says, Don't try to control Izuku Midoriya. You'll surely, you'll surely regret it. As Nezu says how, as, as Aizawa, he can't tell Nezu about what he saw. That's what Aizawa says, I can't tell you. But you just need to be cautious of Izuku Midoriya and his friends. They're, extre they're extremely powerful. Especially Izuku. So yeah. So the class, like class 1A, class 1B, they learn not to mess with Deku. Because Deku, he will body them. So, yeah. I guess that's where I'm going to be leaving it off. No, and then like, it's the end of the day and... And, um... Kirishima walks up to Deku and friends who are talking. They sit in the back of the class. They don't really need to learn anything from my so they just talk. Izuku makes a um, barrier around them that no one knows can get out of. As Kirishima walks up to them and says, Hey guys, as Izuku says, um, Hi, what do you want? As this is Kaminari, Mina, and Jiro, and Kirishima. Jiro because Denki's there, and yeah. So, yeah. So, they said, do you guys want to hang out? As Suzuku, he looks around at his friends, and his friends look at each other, and they're like, no, we don't want to. As Zuku says, you heard them, they don't want to. As they said, but what about you? As Zuku says, if they're not hanging out with you, what makes you think I'll hang out with you? As... He said, but, but, what, as, but why? As Izuku says, why? So leaving me isn't, isn't a reason for you, for, for me to not hang out with you. Get on my face. As, that's when they see that what they did wrong was leave Deku behind. And Deku could have been really useful to them. I mean, really useful. So, they just leave and go home. And that's where I'm going to be leaving it off, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This has been part two of what if Deku was too OP to live on Earth and any other planet. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Lotus What Ifs. Oh, I'm joking. This is... Let me see that again. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been part two of what if Deku and Class 1A and B were in Tower of God. Bye.